Hey, in this video, we will visit the land of Ethereum. However, this time, we will not delve deep into our beloved Ethereum project. Instead, we will turn our attention to understanding what is Ethereum Classic. Imagine that you and your friend launched a small business to sell car accessories. The business quickly took off, so you decided to incorporate car parts into your assortment. While it was a great idea, the financial side of things wasn't going as anticipated. The financial issues quickly caused friction between you and your friend. Therefore, you decide to separate the business into two and have one selling car parts and the other selling car accessories. Some major companies have also followed similar strategies to separate their businesses. A good example is the Japanese technology company Toshiba. In 2021, the company decided to split into three different firms to improve shareholder value and squash internal disagreements. These examples, although having nothing to do with crypto, illustrate how entities driven by the same ideas can split into different units. The move usually helps to solve certain internal or external issues, bringing peace to project operations. In short, this is similar to what happened with Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, by exploring the depths of Ethereum, we will search for an answer to what is Ethereum Classic. Moreover, we will work our way through what is Ethereum Classic used for, and how does Ethereum Classic work. Finally, we will identify the main differences between the two crypto projects. Let's get right into it, shall we? To understand what is Ethereum Classic, we first need to circle back to 2013, when the 19-year-old Vitalik Buterin co-founded Ethereum. Buterin and the team initially created a single network that used Ether or ETH to complete payments. In this video, we will only briefly touch on the functions of current Ethereum. However, if you want to learn more about the second biggest cryptocurrency in the world, I have a dedicated video for this topic. Check it out! Upon its launch, Ethereum quickly became the go-to platform for initial coin offerings, or ICOs, with many companies using it to launch their own tokens. One of them was the DAO. In the crypto world, this term is usually used to refer to decentralized autonomous organizations, which the company essentially was. However, the DAO was also an investor-directed venture capital fund where investors voted on various assets they wanted to invest in. Thus, as the DAO gained popularity, it soon managed to secure over 11 million Ether, at the time worth over a staggering $150 million. The funding was secured from not one, not two, and not hundreds of investors. Instead, around 18,000 investors decided to give their money to the DAO. Some crazy numbers there, right? However, things took a turn for the worse when a malicious actor detected a bug in the DAO smart contract and bagged around $50 million worth of Ether. In short, smart contracts are self-executing computer programs that complete the terms of contracts once certain specified criteria are met. Before we continue to unravel the history of Ethereum Classic, it is important to note that blockchain networks cannot be reversed or altered. Once something is logged onto the network, it is locked there forever. If certain information on the network is changed, the move can negatively affect the data that will be put on the network in the future. Think of it like breaking a mug. Once the damage is done, it's done. You can superglue it. However, the liquid that you will eventually pour inside of it will definitely find a crack and leak. Despite the potential dangers of the network, some investors suggested reversing the malicious transaction and recovering the stolen funds. Others were more cautious, claiming that such a move would have irreversible implications on the blockchain. Regardless of any worries, the community arranged a vote. An overwhelming majority, or 97% of the community members, agreed to reverse the malicious transactions via a hard fork. Now, for a little bit of theory. There are two types of forks in the crypto world, hard and soft. A hard fork basically means that a huge change occurred on the network, and a new version of the protocol no longer supports the old version. On the other hand, the term soft fork is usually linked to minor changes in the network. If you want to learn more about hard and soft forks, comment below and I will consider creating a dedicated video on this topic. Following the community vote, Ethereum was hard forked and split into two units. The new network kept its name as Ethereum, with a native token Ether or ETH. On the other hand, the old version got the name of Ethereum Classic with the native token ETC. So, as we now know how Ethereum Classic appeared on the crypto radar, it's time to answer the question of what is Ethereum Classic. The formal definition is quite, how do I say this, a mouthful. Regardless, let's attempt to understand it. Ethereum Classic is an open source, decentralized, blockchain based crypto platform that is running smart contracts. That is quite a lot of adjectives for one project, don't you think? However, to understand these concepts better, we must explore how Ethereum Classic works. Starting off, one of the main rules that Ethereum Classic follows is the claim that code is law. What does that mean exactly? 
Well, similar to transactions, various applications on the network run with no pause. The applications are programmed to operate without censorship, third-party interference, and downtime. Thus, when working with these apps, users are expected to accept any outcome smart contracts offer. However, this is not set in stone. If the user experiences unfavorable outcomes due to flawed smart contracts, the network compensates them for the mistake. As with every blockchain network, Ethereum Classic operates using a consensus mechanism. Different from its predecessor, Ethereum, which switched to Proof-of-Stake in September of 2022, Ethereum Classic continues to work using Proof-of-Work. In this video, we will not delve deep into the intricacies of how Proof-of-Stake or Proof-of-Work operate. However, if you want to get familiar with this topic, I have a dedicated video on it. Let's come back to Ethereum Classic, shall we? As the network operates using Proof-of-Work, miners play an important role in securing the network, producing new blocks and processing transactions. In return, miners receive ETC rewards for their work. As of October of 2023, miners earn around 3 ETC for their services. Similar to the proof-of-work king, Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic also lowers mining rewards from time to time. It's like the video game Fruit Ninja that we were all obsessed with back in 2015. However, POW networks are not slashing fruits. Instead, they reduce mining rewards. In particular, Ethereum Classic cuts mining rewards by 20% every 5 million blocks or around 2.5 years. Now, it is natural to think that as Ethereum switched to Proof-of-Stake, Ethereum Classic may also be looking in that direction. However, this is not the case. The team behind the older version of Ethereum claims that they will continue to follow decentralization maximalism. On top of that, the team holds firm on the stance that there is no need to fix something that isn't broken. Critics argue that this stance is not necessarily true if you consider POW's energy consumption and its electronic waste. At this point in the video, we know how Ethereum Classic was born and how it works. Thus, it is time to explore what is Ethereum Classic used for. When it comes to Ethereum Classic, the network mainly serves as a developer-dedicated smart contract platform, while its native token, ETC, plays the role of sound money. Let's start with the Ethereum Classic as a smart contract platform. The protocol offers developers a unique take on running smart contracts. In fact, developers can use the platform to launch various services, decentralized applications, or games. As I briefly mentioned before, its uniqueness lies in the fact that smart contracts deployed on Ethereum Classic cannot be altered or censored once they are live. This means that no external interference is possible. Thus, the principle of code is law and the goal to build unstoppable applications are executed to the T. Now, let's jump into what is ETC coin and how it functions in the Ethereum Classic ecosystem. As I mentioned before, it is Ethereum Classic's native token. The team behind the protocol strives to make ETC sound money that carries a digital store of value similar to that of Bitcoin. As with many cryptocurrencies, ETC can be bought, held, sold, or traded in the crypto world. However, it is mainly used to pay gas and transaction fees. Different from its brother Ether, the token has a limited supply of 210,700,000 ETC. As of October of 2023, close to 144 million ETC, or around 68%, have already been minted. It is worth highlighting that Ethereum Classic miners receive rewards in the form of ETC. However, once the whole supply is minted, miners will only earn rewards in the form of transaction fees. Looking into historical data, Ethereum Classic reached its highest price per coin of $176 in May of 2021. However, since then, the graph continued to slump. At the end of 2023, ETC retailed at a mere $17. I will do the math for you, that is almost a 90% decline. To be fair, however, this is in line with the trend that many other projects have also seen at this point in time. If we conclude what is ETC in crypto, we can clearly see that it plays an integral part in the Ethereum Classic ecosystem. The token is issued to cover gas and transaction fees, as well as distribute rewards to miners. Lastly, if you want to buy ETC, you should visit major crypto exchanges like Binance and Kraken. Throughout this video, I often mention that Ethereum can be considered Ethereum Classic's brother. Thus, the question of what is the difference between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic should have definitely occurred in your head. As we know, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic are related. Both networks were founded by the same people and are powered by a similar smart contract-based computer code. Moreover, both networks support dApps and can be used to facilitate secure transactions. However, after the network split into two, one quickly outgrew the other and their differences became more apparent. Currently, the main difference between Ethereum Classic and Ethereum lies in the consensus mechanism. In September of 2022, Ethereum underwent a long-awaited merge, while Ethereum Classic decided not to switch to POS, holding firm on its belief in the POW mechanism. Another difference is ETC's fixed supply and its intent to serve as sound money. In this perspective, Ether doesn't have a set number of ETH supply. 
Despite these technical aspects, the most important difference can be noticed in the use of Ether and Ethereum Classic. In terms of market capitalization, Ether holds a market cap of over $200 billion, while Ethereum Classic stands at a mere $2 billion. On the other hand, ETC has a circulating supply of 143 million tokens, while ETH has a supply of 120 million. Lastly, at this point in time, Ether is over 100 times more expensive than ETC. I hope all of the discussed aspects helped you clearly identify the difference between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Thus, you can be the one declaring a winner in the battle of ETC versus ETH. Who is your winner? Leave a comment below. As we reach the end of this video, I hope that the concept of what is Ethereum Classic is more than clear. However, to solidify your knowledge of Ethereum's brother, let's recap what we just learned about how does Ethereum Classic work and what is Ethereum Classic used for. Ethereum Classic was born from the same project, now known simply as Ethereum. The network strictly follows the code is law concept and operates using a proof of work consensus mechanism aiming to build unstoppable applications. The network also has a native token, ETC, with a supply of 210 million tokens. The team behind Ethereum Classic strives to make ETC sound money, similar to Bitcoin. However, currently, ETC is mainly used to cover gas and transaction fees or distribute rewards to miners. Thanks for watching this video on Ethereum Classic. I hope it helped you understand the specifics of this network. If you like this animated explainer, make sure to give it a like and leave your thoughts on Ethereum Classic below. See you in my next video.